Figure drawing. The Fulton Art Fair Artist Lounge will hold drawing sessions with a model. Artists are invited to come out and practice their skills and connect with other artists. There will be a $5 fee starting Thursday, May 18, 2017 from 6.30 p.m. till 8.30 p.m. It will be at the Bailey Calf, 324 Malcolm X Boulevard between Decatur and Van Bridge. Brooklyn, New York, 40 years ago. Oh, okay. I was a professor at City College. Oh, okay. And I own the Trap Equestrian. Where are you from? From Bedside, Brooklyn. Oh, okay. And I have my horse out at Howard Beach. Where is that? At Howard Beach, I have my horses out there. Oh, on the Conduit. Have you been out there? You see the guys, the horses on the Conduit? No, we, I, we haven't, no. I mean, I, uh, we're, we're both in California. Oh, in California? Yeah. I've been out there. I rode in the, uh, uh uh, to do a little performance. I also, uh, how you say, a rainer. I have some of the finest horses. I have two of the finest horses. There's two, I have a quarter horse, or well, quarter horse is a, a Palomino that my daughter rides, and a big bay horse. They use, uh, we didn't win the championship yet, but hopefully about maybe sometime this year, we're gonna go to competition again, because he's, uh, he's wonderful, he's a fantastic horse. And uh, as an African-American man, I'm looking forward to Possibly someone recognizing me and my skills on a horseback. And I, uh, as an artist and professor, I've captured, you know, the uh, the Black West. Yeah, the all the stars. Matt Love, also known as David Dick. Uh, Bill Pickett, his assistant, Will Rogers and Tom Mix, Hollywood star. They learned from a Negro. And then you have the Buffalo Soldiers. You've heard of them, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's a, uh, I mean, they fought. They lived, they slaved, fought, lived and died for a country that has yet to really recognize them as being dedicated black men to this country. And that's it. And as an artist, should you do art, look at the face I'm trying to capture. He's looking back at his past. You know, I was born a slave, and now I'm free from emancipation. I'm still trying to serve my country. Yeah. What can you say? Uh, you have women, such as Minnie Mason, Mason, California. Mason, California is named after Biddy Mason. You're from California, right? Yeah. yeah Mason, California, named after this one right here. Wow. And you have Mary Stagecoach Fields. The Monroe Trail is named after this man here by George. Well, it was named by, this is as great, 1879. The Monroe Trail, oh, yeah. George Monroe. His name is George Monroe. Oh, okay. He was a master with the coaching horses. Wow. And then the Negro Roper. That's it. Wow. The old times. Beautiful. And here's one of my favorites, the Buffalo Hunt. Pardon me. 
your buffalo hunt. So it's not just pen and ink, I can get it to watercolor as well. Yeah, that's beautiful. So you capture, can you feel, I mean, he's in movement. It's this horse at 35, 40 miles an hour. Wow. Again, he can pinpoint with that Henry rifle. That's and just squeeze, that's it. That's, this I kind of picked up from uh, uh, Remington, Charles Russell, how they captured the watercolors. Wow. Boom, they put it there. And Steve, he's one with that horse. Yeah. He's one with this horse. The Native American in the background. The eagle, the buffalo, the bison. <laughs> Okay. Um, thank you for the full thought there to Belly's Cafe for hosting our Black History Show. We wish to thank our cinematographer, Mr. Melvin Isaacs, for his photographic genius. And this is Bailey's Cafe in the Fulton Law Fair. This is our fifth show at Bailey's Cafe, which has basically adopted the Fulton Art Fair. And we are so proud to have some of our artists here today. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. I am the executive director and founder of Bailey's Cafe. We are an intergenerational place to be today. What is it, February 18th? We have the amazing Greg Lewis Trio here. The Fulton Art Fair folks for their new shows being installed. So lots of great things going on. It's all open and free. Yes. Bye-bye. We appreciate it. My name is Okambi Pound. Uh, I'm an artist at the Dorsey's Gallery. Uh, my mentor is Otto Neal. And this is my piece. It is a plastic cast. I first made the piece out of clay. And we used the clay piece and uh, provided a mold for the piece and presented it in plastic cast. And this is uh, my two favorite scholars, right? Dr. John Henry Clark and Dr. Ben. And I dedicate these pieces to Dr. John Henry Clark and Dr. Ben, who opened up my eyes to the greatness of Africa and the African contributions to humanity. I also do uh, watercolor, graphite, and uh, painting, and clay.
This is my latest project and it's called African Ritual. But this time I included our uh, black history of where we come from and uh, the cycle of uh, we had our own nature and our own land. And then when we was taken from Africa, uh, and put on the uh, slave ship, and from the slave ship to the auction block, to the auction block, to the cotton field, to the cotton field, where we fled. And then we have our civil rights leaders. So I'm gonna uh, zoom in on this, so this way you can see it much clearly about what I'm talking about. But this whole picture right here is the uh, African ritual, which is a man and a woman looking down and uh, they are watching, protecting their community, uh, their children, their family. And so uh, this been getting me a lot of views, love it. Uh, it's very attractive and uh, I have been uh, selling a lot of this. So uh, this also gonna be included into the uh, museum. They just built the new one out in Washington DC and I get that information as well but let me zoom in on this part right here so this way you can see exactly what I see starting from the upper right hand corner is our nation and we was king queens we had our own uh, uh, land and uh, we was very rich in that situation Right below it is when we was enslaved and taken from our homeland and uh, uh, brought to America through the slave ship that you could see next to it. And the left middle above is where we was put on the auction block and we were stripped of our own language and our own rituals and then we was sold either in the field or in the house. And right below it is showing you the cotton field where we was uh, uh, enslaved into uh, uh, picking cotton. And from there uh, to our left bottom is when we decided to fled uh, through the Underground Railroad. And right above that is you'll see our civil rights leaders uh, speaking about all this mess that we was going through and we still continue to go through. We all need to know this. Uh, this should have been taught in the schools uh, from, uh, from public school up until junior high school or even further, but it should have always been there because young kids they don't know where their ancestors came from or their journey or how they got here. And they need to understand that. Uh, I see right now that they gonna have this into school sometime soon when they pass the bill. But, uh, you know, this will be a great history uh, for them to know and it probably would help them out tremendously. And this is called African Ritual. And this has a very strong signal, strong color. It makes you feel when you see it, uh, very strong vibes it gives you. And it makes you, you know, really that type of person that you want to have this in your household or become who you are. So this is what I usually always bring out. What I'm showing you here is another art piece that I have did. And this is a collection of Eric Edwards, who is an art collector, goes around Africa, Nigeria, and he collects, uh, he's an art collector. So I, he allowed me to film or take pictures of some of his collection, and this is what I had took. And this is a history behind this particular art here. 
Uh, these are the Bioli people from the Ivory Coast. And the reason why I'm showing you this because within the culture, in our culture, we also had uh, slaves. You know, we will sell our own for money. And this is part of the culture. So that's another education that, you know, uh, young black people need to understand of who they are and where they came from. And that way they will have a better, a better understanding of themselves. That don't make me cry. Okay, so my name is Gloria Braxton. I'm a watercolor artist, and this is my painting, and it's named Pops Satchmo Lewis. And I selected Louis Armstrong because he was very charismatic, and, um, and he made it his duty to go back to the people and share his music and his impact with the community. So this was important to me to capture it. I wanted to get the amazement of the children and then his excitement and his eyes, which a lot of people known him for his excitement and his personality, he has that here. So this is a moment that we're going into that I enjoyed myself. So yes, it's about the music and the art, but it's also about when you have a talent and you share it with your community and like-minded people. So this is very important to me and I'm glad that you guys can indulge in it. Um, and I appreciate you. Uh, what I'm doing now is giving you an update of my latest projects that I'm doing. Uh, the first one right here is a uh, oil painting and I'm basically I'm just starting on this one right here, just about finished. I just added a little Lindsay oil to it to give it that gloss, you know, to uh, make it more smoother. And this is a still life with a parrot. Uh, it's coming out very, very good. And I'm going to show you a close up on it so this way you can see it uh, much clearer. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in on it. Here we go. Very, very nice painting. And uh, like I said, this is a, uh, a still life with a parrot. And basically, I'm following the old master. And one of the old masters that I'm following is uh, Jane D. Heen. And uh, he's another famous painter. He followed the categories of uh, Pablo Picasso, uh, Rembrandt, Norman Rockwell. Uh, these are the people that I'm following uh, from the uh, uh, back in the days, I would put it that way. So these are the old masters that I'm following. And I want to show you some other paintings too, is uh, portrait paintings as well that, that I was doing. And uh, most of it's already finished. And one of them right now, let me put this up there so this way you can see it, is a very good picture. This is a very good, uh, is a military picture of uh and this is back in the vietnam era so it have a lot of gloss on it you will see it that way but it's it's very nice and uh the guy he's very thrilled once he see it because he really want this picture done and this is in the vietnam era part when he was younger so, uh, and it's all in oil. 
And I know he can't wait to see it. Okay. Okay, so this is a clown. And uh, <clears throat> just finish up doing this one right here too. I give my exhibit at different places. One is at the uh, Bailey Calf on Malcolm X Boulevard. And then there's uh, the Dorsey Art Gallery on Roger Avenue. And what's coming up next is the Fulton Art Fair where you see most of my stuff being exhibited over there. Lastly, I do go to the uh, veteran at Fort Hamilton and one in New York administration. I have a vendor spot over there and uh, you know people come over there and they view my art and if they want to purchase I'm right there for them. So you know I'm you know, I'm doing pretty good in the East Spot, and I welcome you all there as well. Well, as you can see, I just finished one of myself. And uh, most people, they see you can do yourself, they can, you know, they realize that you can do them, that you, you are a portrait person, you're an artist. And that's what I usually do, I do myself, and people automatic when they see my art they zoom in on my portrait pictures so they want me to do them as well which is a good thing for me and here we go here and so this way you all would know what I'm doing my objective is to uh, have my own art shop where I can have uh, people come down and see what I have uh, as far as art work there that they want to uh, check out, maybe want to purchase, and also to have classes there for the uh, community, for the young people in the community, you know, teach them about their hidden talents. I've been teaching kids for over 30 years, so, you know, it's pretty good for me to, you know, give them that, uh, that education. And, you know, I like teaching, I like helping people out, especially in the community. Okay, so there we got it. Uh, the artwork that I'm doing, the updates, the, uh, the sketch class the drawing sketch class that will be starting next Thursday at the Bailey Cap. And I'm always going to keep you updated what I'm doing. From before, when I first started, I was telling you how I started this business and it's keep elevating. And I welcome anyone to continue uh, looking at my show. If you want to be an artist too, to come down, uh, let me know and that way we can get you started because that's where you need to be at, you know, from what I'm doing. So, again, my name is Melvin Isaac. I'm a professional artist and a producer uh, for the Artistic Talent Show. And my show is aired every Thursday from 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. So it shows twice every Thursday and is at Cable Vision 67. If you're not in Brooklyn, you can watch it at Verizon 50, 42, 43, and 44, not 42nd. That will be shown in Queens, the Bronx, Staten Island, uh, Long Island. So thank you for watching my updates and watching me. And uh, you know, if you need to ask me any questions, you can always uh, text me or you can go to my uh, email at misaac718 at yahoo.com and my telephone number is 646-784-3902. 
and visit my website at www.artistictalentinc.web.com. Thank you very much. Say something. Say something. Say something. Too late.